Hello and welcome to this Millennial Review where in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install some memory into your Dell Inspiron 5500 series laptop. Now this laptop is one that uh, is super popular out there and takes some DDR4 2666 megahertz memory. So of course the laptop size and the installation process is super quick and easy. All it takes is a small Phillips head screwdriver, flipping your laptop upside down and getting into the underside of the laptop with the cover removed. Now these Dell Inspirons, they run with two bays of this DDR4 memory, which means that you can run two of these memory sticks. In my case, my laptop, which is an i7 variant, came with eight gigabytes of memory. And for dual channel memory, i.e. those two slots, you do want to have them balanced. So in the case of upgrading the memory here, I have eight gigabytes that are going to go in, which will make the total memory of this laptop be 16. And 16 gigabytes is going to have eight on each channel. So don't go by uneven memory stick as it will definitely hurt the performance. So in this case, let me go ahead and just start uh, popping the laptop case off. We did unscrew all of it and I've got this little pry tool to click through. If you need some tools or memory, I will have everything that I'm using linked down in the description below. That way you can use the same stuff that we know works. And once we're inside, your memory is right here. So in this case, if I pop this out, you'll go ahead and see that what's in the computer is that eight gigabyte DDR4 2666 megahertz. And we'll put that back into the dim slot A. Dim slot A is the slot where your first memory stick is. If you put it in B, the computer won't boot. And so your second stick of memory will drop into B. In this case, I'm using a Time Tech memory stick. This isn't your uh, fastest or highest powered memory stick out there, but neither is the computer. The point here is I want something that's going to match up with what is already in the laptop and be pretty affordable, which this, of course, is. So you can see the four memory bays on each side that are soldered in. And then we're just going to line it up. Notice one side is asymmetrical, a little longer than the other. And the same will be true on the laptop bay. So we're going to slide this in. It's going to go in up at an angle. If you take a look there, it goes in at an angle, not flat. And then when it's pressed all the way in, you can click it right down just like that. And now we will have installed the additional memory. So put your case back on and this, it's important to take the time to get it all clicked down so that everything is going to click into place properly. There we go. Once it's in, you can go ahead and start screwing it back together. Get our last one screwed in. And I went ahead and jumped into the BIOS so you'll be able to see the laptop has already identified in DIM slot A the 8 gigabytes of memory that came standard and then the 8 gigabytes of memory that we've just added creating a total memory of 16 gigabytes. So with all that, we are good to go to start this computer up and it's going to launch just like it should. And there we are. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. And if it was, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as browse the channel for other tips and tricks on how to install things like memory, hard drives, 
fans, all sorts of computer-related tech as well. 